Well, hello. Uh, this is uh, David Comparatore Lumetrics. Uh, here I am in the lab. Uh, I have rounded up four examples of cell phones. Uh, so the pressure is on to get this done so I can get them back to their people. Uh, I've got a uh, Apple phone. I've got a uh, Motorola. I've got a Samsung. And I've got a Pixel. So we've got a pretty good cross-section of uh, phones. Uh, and what we're going to do is, I'm, a, I'm curious, which one of these might have the most layers? PowerPoint Dave here, large as life and twice as ugly. Let's talk about the OptiGauge. This is what we're doing the measurement with. This slide here presents uh, the theory, a bit, a bit of the theory about how it works. Uh, it's a simple uh, probe that shines a 13, 10 nanometer light down onto a sample. Uh, here's the probe up top, sample below, and uh, a probe beam comes down, hits a surface, reflects back up, and every time it sees an index of refraction change, a little bit of light gets reflected back, and that's what we're seeing in the waveform when we see the peaks. Okay, back to you, Lab Dave. Let's start with the apple. I'm going to put it here underneath the opti gauge and see if we can get a signal. I see I'm a little low, so let's, uh, let's get, the, get the probe down closer to the, uh, to the phone. Uh, and here it is with the apple. I'm going to pull the uh, threshold down a little because I think there might be a, another layer kind of hidden in there. I got a, kind of a bit of noise going on uh, towards the end here, so I don't know what we'll count that one. Uh, but we seem to have a very thick layer. Maybe that's the uh, protective glass. Then another layer. I'm not even going to guess what they are. Let's just count the layers. Uh, I'm going to say nine layers at, in this waveform. So, okay, what do we got? Nine layers for nine layers for the uh, for the uh, Apple phone. All right, let's move on to the Motorola. Here we go. All right, now now we got to go back up. This one's a little. Let's see, we'll get the, get the waveform in better. There we go. Okay, so this is interesting. A little, a little, uh, a little different looking than the uh, Apple, the, the Motorola. Uh, it's got some, it still has the thick main glass, uh, which you can see is about, uh, uh, 1,195 microns of uh, optical thickness for the thick portion. And we have how many layers in? About eight layers, I'd say. It's, it's hard to say if these are, this little uh, section here is, might or might not be a layer. That actually might be a layer, a hidden layer, a thin layer uh, in between, uh, you know, uh, there could be two layers there. I'd have to fuss with the uh, with the uh, alignment a little, but I'm going to say that one. If it's there, it's hard for me to find. It might be below our threshold of 12 microns. If it is, it's causing that little hump. Uh, we do actually show a layer popping up in between there. I might make it so that isn't a layer by. Well, no, even eight, a peak width of eight, it still pops in and out a little bit. Not until we went to nine did this uh, layer disappear. So I'm going to go back down to the peak width of five and call it, a, call it a layer. And we'll count up the layers. And what did we have? We had nine layers for the, for the iPhone, and it looks like we got about Eight layers. We're going to go with eight layers. Eight layers for the uh, Samsung. Uh, obviously not a very scientific. You know, we would spend more time aligning if we had to. Uh, 
But we're just going to take a quick look first and then uh, Samsung. Here we go. Put in the Samsung. Uh, just the height again. This one has a protective case on it. So it's to come back up a little bit. Oh, and this Samsung, now this is interesting. Is this, we, again, we got a protective layer for the Samsung. Uh, it's thinner though, 731 uh, microns of optical thickness. And then after that, we got one, and so the thick layer, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if these are layers. So this uh, waveform back here is uh, probably a secondary reflection. So sometimes you get multiple reflections between the layers, and this gap here seems to be very reminiscent of maybe these first two layers. Uh, so it could be a secondary reflection going through there. Uh, and we won't we won't count those, I think. I don't think we'll count those. So one, two, three, four, five, six layers. Okay. I'd say the Samsung uh, has six layers, but again, the main the main thickness is a little thinner than the than the uh, Motorola and the iPhone. So let's take a look uh, at our last phone, the Pixel. about the same position. I'm going to pull it in a little. And there we have, uh, again, the thick, well, I'm pretty sure that must be the protective layer. So the way it works is light comes, hits the first interface. So that's where the, your hand can touch, physically touch that. Uh, and then everything else is an interior. Uh, and this is about uh, 1,173, so it's about the same thickness. That protective layer is about the same as both the Motorola and I believe the iPhone. Uh, but uh, the, so far, the thinnest protective layer is for the uh, Samsung. Uh, and let's see, total layers here is about six. So that's comparable to the uh, Samsung. So it seems like the Pixel and the Samsung have the least layers at around five and six. And the uh, Motorola and the iPhone have the most layers at around eight to nine. All right, so uh, I better get these uh, phones back to their people before uh, they have withdrawal symptoms. All right, this is David Compator uh, at the New Metrics Lab, taking a quick look at cell phones for the fun of it. Uh, hope you learned something from that, and I certainly. Uh, I certainly did. Pretty interesting to see what's uh, inside our uh, most handy device. All right. See you next video.